Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com and what I'm doing right now is kind of a very inter- in- interesting setup. Uh, I can't even say that word. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm recording kind of with the HD PVR2 with HDMI doing live commentary. Um, so a lot of people are like, how are you doing that with HDMI where um, that's not even built into the ARC software that comes with the HD PVR2? Well, what I'm doing is I'm recording with Bandicam, which is a screen capture software that's really made for PC gaming. Um, it's a really good piece of software. There's other screen capture software out there, uh, such as uh, DX Tori, there's Fraps, and uh, I think there's one called Play Claw or something like that. But I'm using Bandicam, and I have to say it's, it's working out extremely well. Now, what I'm doing is I'm speaking directly into uh, my uh, Blue Yeti. I have the silver um, model. That's the one without the XLR input. The black model is the one uh, with the XLR uh, input. And um, for what I heard, it works good with Macs, but uh, it's a little buggy on PC. So if you're going to get the Yeti, uh, get the silver one. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to play a little bit of a Black Ops 2. And then what I want to do is um, play a scene that's going to throw a lot of particle effects, lighting effects. It's not really going to be the most interesting thing to look at. But what you want to do is look at you know, some of the detail in the scene. Now this would, uh, scene would fall apart with the HD PVR over component. Uh, and also my AVR media. That's just because all the different layers that are happening in video games, um, it's it's too much data really happening with the um, you know with component. So you really do need HDMI. And let's you know just I just want to show you guys you know all this stuff moving around so you guys can get a good idea of the quality and so on. Now I do want to point out with the bandy cam, I'm recording at 90% quality. And that's because it, you know, it's probably a little bit better than 80, even though you won't really notice a difference. However, uh, when you do go to 100, your files do get much, much larger. Uh, so I really don't want to record in super large files. Uh, and that's one of the things that I really like about the Bandicam software is that files are much, much smaller than Fraps and also DX Tori. And don't get me wrong. Am I on the right? No, I'm on, I want to be on this this level right here. Uh, don't get me wrong, those are also really good screen capture um, programs. Uh, but you know, for what I want to do, uh, do I feel oh, that Bandicam is probably the best in. one to use. Uh, and right now, I'm recording the image oh, off of my laptop. I'm recording the screen. I'm not recording. Uh, the HD PVR um, software, the Archon software, is not doing the recording. Now, like I said, I'm talking to my Blue Yeti. And um, when I play back this uh, this file, I'm going to have, uh, in Sony Vegas, I'm going to have an uh, audio track for gameplay and an audio track for my for my voice. Now what this is going to allow me to do is adjust my levels um, after I'm done playing. Now of course you can get your levels right uh, the first time around, but you should... Uh, play a little bit of the game, the record it, um, bring it back to the computer, then tweak your uh, audio. It's going to probably t- oh maybe take, you know, um, maybe 10 minutes or so, or 5 minutes to quickly do a level check for each game. I mean, for each game. If you if you do want to get it right, um, you know, if, you would want to do this with the HD PVR if you're doing component. Um, and the reason why you would probably want to do it that way is because if you're going to be recording and you don't want to re-encode it um, with Sony Vegas, like this has to be re-encoded with Sony Vegas because it doesn't have two audio tracks. But if you just wanted to record and stop recording and go directly to YouTube, then you would want to check your audio like on your sound mixer. I have a Behringer uh, 802 and you know, setting your levels isn't hard at all, but when you're jumping from different game to game, you know, Black Ops 2, Assassin's Creed, Halo 4. Um, you have to make sure you get your levels right. So if you do have uh, different games, I recommend you know just taking a picture of the levels uh, for each game, or just writing them down. Because if you go from Black Ops 2 to Halo, your levels will change. Or Assassin's Assassin's Creed. One of the games that really, really, really uh, had really crazy levels was the Sonic, uh, the Sonic Racing game. And I actually had my, my game audio pretty low, 
not super low, but it was lower than my voice yeah, audio. Right. And uh, that was... Yes. I just want to hear him speak. Come on, speak. There's a traitor in our midst. All right. But how? Who? Okay, and um, you know, so you won't really want to check that. Uh, make sure you get bag? that right. Now there is a program that can fix um, your levels when you only have one track, and that's a program called Levelator. And I'm going to leave a link to Levitator in the description box of this video. Now, if your audio is extremely, extremely bad, like completely blown out the game audio, like because your voice audio is way, 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 way too high, or vice versa, or the game audio or the voice audio is higher than the other one. Um, but if it's lower, like lower, but you can still hear it, you know, good enough to understand what's going on. You can use Leviator, and what Leviator will do is match up all the sounds in that audio track on the same level. So that's a really good program to have if you need to fix something and you don't want to do your replay, uh, let's play all over again. And what we, one thing I do, I do want to show you guys that what I'm doing is this screen capture. Let me just block back here. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of different, you know, there's a lot of lighting effects going on right here. Now these two guys over here who are in the shadow, uh, if this was being recorded with the HD P uh, PVR1 or the AVR media with component cables, um, this background would be completely blocky, um, you know, because, you know, you have the lighting effects, you have that smoke, and then you have the shadows, and then you have like this dust particle in the area, you can see some of that dust. That background would, would be, it wouldn't look that good. Uh, however, when you, if you are on one of those capture devices, when you come close, it completely clears up. But, uh, you know, Bandicam is doing a really good job capturing this. Um, I would probably say you still would get a, a little bit better picture um, recording over the Hallpog HD, HD PVR2 with HDMI. However, you will have to uh, voice over your uh, gameplay footage. Um, because right now this is the only way to do live commentary with the HD PVR2. And overall, I have to say it is uh, really, really good. Now, of course, maybe uh, you can match the HD PVR2 quality if you use Bandicam and you record at a 100% uh, uh, quality. Uh, but then your uh, Bandicam files will be extremely bigger. I heard probably as big as DX Tori or are for apps and now we're looking at like the jet engines the particle effects all this stuff going on and that's going to look really good and again if that was being recorded with component with any component device i believe that would be um you know a little too um you know <laughs> uh, blocky and so on so you know just play a little bit of uh, gameplay right here not a lot uh, just going to show you this a little bit right here. And then we got some bad, bad guys over here. Oh, that's actually the good guys over here. The soldiers. Uh, when I played this myself, I didn't want to really kill any of the soldiers. Um, I just thought it was weird that, you know, I'm doing that in the game. Um, you know, killing your own people. Kind of uh, but anyway, you know, a little bit like Modern Warfare 2 when you had it. Um, kill the uh, people in the airport um, but anyway um, let's cut over to Sony Vegas so I can show you what the audio uh, the files gonna look like all right guys now what we're going to do is look at the file in Sony Vegas now this was record the the, the screen was recorded with bandy cam and there's a few things I just want to show you about bandy cam you want to go into the video settings my my Dell laptop is like 13 something by like, I don't know, like 9 something. It's not a 1080p uh, monitor, uh, but it's, it's a little higher than 720p. But I'm just going to record in regular 720p. Now, if you have a, another monitor, um, you know, a, a monitor, a desktop, or another laptop that has a 1080p screen, by then all means record at 1080p. Now, I like to record at 29 0.97 frames per second because that's what NTSC television sets are, are. Um, you know so you can do it like that if uh, you know if some games are 60 frames per second 
um, you can check uh, if you if you want to record at 60 frames per second you can do it 60 frames I did see bandy cam when I was playing it the the frames were moving around here and there so you can put it at 60 frames or so um, you know 60 frames is really more for slow motion so if you're not going to be doing slow motion you really probably don't really need 60 frames you know if you're doing a black ops 2 montage or a halo montage and you want that nice slow motion effect that's when you'd probably want to use 60 frames uh, but yeah we're just going to leave it on 29.97 frames per second you want your audio codec to be PCM um, because that's what Sony Vegas and Adobe Premiere like and quality uh, now I was watching another video tutorial by somebody else and he said um, you know 90 is maybe just a little bit better than 80 uh, but when you go to 100 with Bandicam then the files get really really big and I don't really want to deal with super super large files I really don't need them um, so um, the quality will probably be a little bit better I heard but I heard still even going 100 it's not really going to make that much of a difference you can do variable bit rate you can do unvariable bit rate um, that's the constant is like the bit rate always stays really really high uh, but variable helps to keep the sm uh, file small and uh, it's really easy also with uh, you know if you just going to record um, you know you just gonna hit F12 and when you're recording on the screen you will see the frames per second and when the the numbers are red that's when you're recording uh, but you don't see the frames recorded um, on your final file like the final file like I have right here you you won't see it you don't want that on the screen anyway but uh, here is you know the game audio right here the red track right here this is the game audio and the blue audio track is coming from my, though it was recorded on my blue uh, Yeti microphone now the just want to talk about a little, little bit about the Yeti microphone um, if you're thinking about getting the Yeti get the silver um, version um, the black version um, that's the one with the XLR input uh, a lot of people have reported uh, problems with that microphone, and it's on Amazon. It's about th uh, three and a half stars, but the silver one I think is like four, four stars, or four and a half stars, or something like that. Never had a problem with this microphone, so just keep that. But I did hear uh, people who do have the uh, the black version of the Yeti who are Mac users don't have any problem. There's something I guess in the circuitry that is causing problems with Windows drivers. Now what we're going to do is just play a little bit of the audio, uh, the gameplay audio right here. Levels was the Sonic, uh, the Sonic Racing game, and I actually had my my Hello, game audio pretty low, not super low, but it was lower than my voice yeah, audio, really? and uh, that was. Yes. I just want to hear him speak. Come on, speak. All right, but how? Who? Okay, and um, you know, so you won't really want to check that. Uh, make sure you get back. that right. Now there is a program that can fix um, your levels when you only have one track, and that's a program called Levier. And I'm gonna leave a link to Levier. Okay, now I'm talking about this other program called Leviator. Um and I'm gonna leave another video to uh, Bill Myers, who is a Sony Vegas. Um, editor and how to export your audio track um, um, if you need to fix it with Leviator and Leviator what it does it just brings you all the audio from everything that's in the audio track on the same level um, Leviator only really has to be used if you really mess up on your levels of course you're not going to mess up your levels with Bandicam but maybe you're using component cables and using a sound mixer or something like that and you're trying to get everything in the you know one shot uh, so I just want to point that out in case I sometimes I like to use my sound mixer um, I kinda like this way as well but you will have to render out um, your video files so um, you know it can be one file with the game audio in the in, in your audio again in one track because if you uploaded uh, this file right here to YouTube the only thing that's going to get recorded is your game audio your voice audio will not get recorded YouTube uh, won't even detect even if I play this back in v, uh, VLC 
uh, player. It's just you know, I'm just going to hear the game audio. So keep that in mind when you do. If you're going to be using Bandicam, you will have to re, uh, render out your files so you'll have game and in, in, in your commentary. But the benefit is is that you can tweak your levels, and all you have to do to tweak your levels is right here is volume. Here's the game audio. See, I can just move it up and down like this. And here is my audio. I can move it up and down. So also another great benefit about doing this screen capture uh, technique is that if I want to do a voiceover of this game, um, you know, because sometimes, you know, you, you know, you might not have a good joke in your head that you want to say something or, you know, you'd be like, eh, that I didn't do a really good job on the commentary. You know, I can just play it back and then voice over it. So I do have the game audio, and all I, I, if I want, I just I can just go and just delete this this track right here. Oops, I did that wrong. So ooh, undelete, bring it all back. I'll just do. I think it's um, group, remove from, and you know, and now I just have the game audio. So if I want to do my own voiceover, just hit this little. Uh, right a little circle just a quick little tip for Sony Vegas users when you are picking your microphone you will have to go into your control panel and your sound systems and then pick the microphone and you know so I would pick of course uh, the Yeti microphone other programs you know like um, Campage you, you pick it through the program Sony Vegas you don't pick your microphone through uh, Sony Vegas you have to do that in this uh, control panel so I really like this um, setup. It's a very unique setup, and I have to give a huge shout out to this YouTuber who uh, told me about this. And I, at first, I didn't know what he was talking about. Um, and then, you know, he told me in the comments, I was like, okay, all right, all right I get uh, screen recorders. And um, I don't know, it didn't dawn on me <laughs> about using them. I guess, you know, you're in the, uh, you're thinking about, you know, the Hob Hog software and the HDMI cables. Uh, but you know, uh, a lot of PC gamers, you know, that's how they record. They record with uh, Bandicam, DX Tori, Fraps, uh, other programs. There's another program I, I just heard about, Playcam. There's Hypercam. Uh, there's a lot of different ones. I really like Band uh, Bandicam. I think it's a really good program. So if you're interested in, uh, let me see what he, he has. He has uh, NBA 2K13. Uh, I think he does Black Ops. Uh, Hitman, um, Race and Need for Speed, uh, looks like a sh uh, RPG right over here, uh, Mario, so he has a really good variety, um, classic fo football, I think that's probably Tecmo, uh, so if you like a lot of different games, definitely check him out, he also has some other channels, the, uh, he doesn't have any videos, but you know, subscribe to them as well, you may put something up there, and you'll be able to catch it uh, in your sub box, but I like to give him a big thank you. Uh, I wouldn't be making this video if he didn't tell me. So, um, you know, go over there and um, show him some support, guys. So once again, guys, I hope this video has helped you as it has helped me a lot. And remember, there are many different ways to do uh, capturing. There's always workarounds and there's always something that you're learning. And I really have to say uh, this is really, really good. So I'm going to leave a link to Bandicam. I'm going to leave um, a link uh, for Leviator if you, in case you need to, come uh, need to fix an audio file or something like that. Uh, I'm going to leave um, the Bill Myers tutorial on how to take out your audio in case you're doing it with a sound mixer. And like I said, if you need to fix it with Leviator. Um, if there's anything else, it'll just be in the description box of this video. So once again, guys, this has been MP4Podcast.com. So I know you guys have a good one. Take care, guys. Love you guys. Bye.